And it went well, Lionel Messi made his debut 15 years ago for Barcelona against Espanyol. The nutmeg returns again and interestingly we have two analysts with us for the first time on the show. Swart joins us in the studio and also Dennis who is a regular is here with us in the studio. How's it going Swart? I'm feeling good, I'm feeling fly, just feeling very grateful to be in, in a time where a guy like Lionel Messi gets to do his work, bars, bulls, bars and he's not letting up. Incredibly. I'm jumping at the beat and glad to uh, Dennis, how's it going? <laughs> Always a pleasure to be here. You know, we're here to do the business and let's get here with him. Uh, just to get into the middle, before we get into the middle of the match or rather, um, do you consider Messi your goat? Oh no! I mean, when there's Ronaldo, yeah, yeah, that's the, the seven hundred goal. We had to take that part mm. out of the equation. But he is goal. massive. Okay. But well, he's not my goat mm. simply because he doesn't have the air that Ronaldo has. He doesn't oh. have the pack that Ronaldo has. So those things constitute. They are very, very important stuff. Status. I mean, very, very important. I mean, there's Ronaldo, there's Latan, and then there's Messi. For oh. me. Interesting. That's interesting, not. interesting. <laughs> so let's talk about the evolution of Messi over the past 15 years. You know, we've had a Messi who started as a right winger, um, an inverted winger coming into um, leaving defenders in his wake and also scoring a whole lot of goals. We had the one who became a false nine under Pep Guardiola. Even after that, he returned to the wings and now he's playing a bit more uh, towards the midfield position now. So what Messi did you really enjoy the most out of the different type of Messi's that we've had, the evolution of Messi you would call? Ooh, I would say the trickster Messi. Messi mm. in Guardiola's season. He wasn't just a false nine, he was acting as a seven. He was the trickster. Exactly. And at the same the time, he could fall into a striker position. And that's why most people used to compare him to Ronaldo when really Ronaldo is the an out and out nine, especially mm -hmm. in that period. So I love that the fact um, the fact that Messi was able to um, move his game to suit his team. He was one of those players that a team was built around him. And for most people, you fall under the pressure. But Messi rose to the occasion. That's why mm -hmm. people still talk about the fact that if Messi is not in Argentina, there is no Argentina. Yeah, 93 games he has played so far, or 90, what, 95, thereabouts. Mm -hmm. And I think he has almost 50 goals for that particular country. That's massive. For a guy that age, is not even up to 40. And then you look at the fact that even in Barcelona, with every evolution, they had to bring a proper nine for him in the person of Suarez and he still managed to be Messi. Messi became senior brother to Neymar. Mm -hmm. Messi became mentor and godfather to small small boys. Even Semedo himself is taking tips for striking from mm -hmm. Messi and now the Messi that we see is now evolving into a 8 and 8 and a 10 and he's still managing to deliver the goods. So there's no player like Messi, honestly speaking. Diminutive, yes. His body structure helps him, yes. But his natural talent is something that is out of this world. So again, like I said, when we just started, I am glad. I feel blessed to be in an age where we get to see Messi do his thing in real time. If there was any down part for Messi's game for me, and yeah. that's why he will not be my goat, is the fact that he is used to, for 15 years plus, he has been playing in the La Liga. Okay. And he has not you know had a different structure of system to play with or play on that's why you see me calling people like zlatan above him because zlatan moved to the mls you know a whole lot of people would, 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 would um pillory you for that yeah let's do that. above messi but but now that you touched on that um particular um situation now that you said he has remained in barcelona and de la liga for the past 15 years I, I i'm coming to you dennis with this do you think at any point in his career although he has not ended his career and he's still at barcelona but during this period that that 15 year period should he have taken that move to another side um you know it's uh, it's quite uh you know you look at it from different perspectives especially you know being a football fan but uh, talking about messi himself as a person I do not think he, he thought at any point in time, you know, to switch allegiances between clubs. Although this has been the uh, subject of conversations in the comparison between himself and Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. And, then, and then, you know, he came out to say today that he never thought of leaving uh, Barcelona because he wanted to achieve greatness or to prove a point in his career. Mm. But uh, for me, speaking as a football fan, you know, uh, there is also the school of thought that you need to uh, replicate whatever you've done somewhere, do elsewhere. it uh, elsewhere, and then find you could then qualify for that, you know, proper goals as people like to call it these days. But talking about Lionel Messi, we've seen uh, different players that are one club men, like, you know, you talk about the likes Totti. of Ryan Giggs, you talk about Totti, you talk about even Steven Gerrard, but I think that Lionel Messi edges it above these guys and 
for his commitment to the Barcelona project right from when he started his career up until this point. I think it's, it's plausible for him and then I think uh, Lionel Messi leave Barcelona right now or stay in Barcelona, nothing takes you know the shine away from him, nothing takes his influence away from him knowing that he's you know broken records after records yeah, like yeah, she yeah. said or uh, even for Argentina in about 93 games he scored about 63 goals for uh, Argentina as we mm -hmm. speak and for Barcelona he's got 627 goals already and that's massive for a player like Incredible. Lionel Messi so I just think the best thing for him at this point is just to stay put in Barcelona and you know maybe get uh, a place in the hierarchy of, of Barcelona in the future. Now, now, now that you touched on the number of goals is um, goal conversion rate and uh, I'm trying to figure you know Messi is a special footballer yeah. everyone, everyone knows that. Yeah. What is that special thing that, that you, you that, that swoons you over when it comes to Messi? You know a whole lot of people have different things and Messi probably ticks a whole lot of boxes but for you specifically what is that thing that special sauce if you want to put it yeah. that way that Messi gets you with I think it's the way he moves the ball and then the pace at which he does that and also knowing that whenever he's with the ball you know the ball doesn't get to run off his foot so too much yeah then, close control yeah and then still yet Messi maintains contact dribbles and then hits these balls and score these goals. I think that's what, you know, singles Messi out for me. I think for me, it's, it's his intelligence, you know. You see the way Messi plays on the field and you're, you're, you're blown away. Like, dude, how is it possible that you're able to do this? Yeah, I'm able to think this. Around, I mean, Messi's like, he get more sense. That's in street colors. <laughs> the guy get more exactly. sense. The guy colors when it comes to ball, the team decides. Mm. That's what we will say. Because basically, when it comes to him, he doesn't overrun. He's one of the players that ball never run, leave him. Mm. In the ball never runs out of him. He always is positionally aware. His yeah. positional awareness. That's why most people always mistake him for an out and out striker. Okay. And then again, involve this in, in, involve the, this part that he tends to be selfless, which mm. is very, very un, unusual. See, it's Latin will go, that's where he cuts it for Zlatan uh -huh. and Ronaldo. They have better stats on a lot of stuff, especially Ronaldo. Ronaldo is seven hundred goals now, yeah. especially with yeah. this week. But Messi is not even up to six fifty yet in his career. And that'll tell you that, yeah, probably because Ronaldo gets more he gets more attempts. He tries and tries and tries and he mm -hmm. gets. Messi is more, he takes his time. He builds up. But then again, that's because of the club he has been playing in. And that's where the drawback is. It's both the pro and the con. When you play in a team like Barcelona, you are, it's a full team involvement. Mm -hmm. I pass the ball, you pass me the ball. Mm -hmm. I take you, you tackle me. Right. And that's it's, how it flows. It's more or less like the culture of the team itself. Exactly. That's why you see him having more assists. That's why you see him have, having more involvement when it comes to the attacking move forward and otherwise. Sometimes Ronaldo not bother do anything he will just be there and just put himself in the box and whip the ball and i will just bullet his scorpion kick and everybody that's will it, just have a that's end. all but that's the downside and mm -hmm. still the pro and the con for me when it comes to messi he has ball sense he's always a full involver he's a full chairman when it comes to the football playing process okay. ronaldo is not but then again that's the drawback if he was not playing in a in a league like La Liga, you can't try that in EPL. Can you try that ah, when young young boys you know, are ready to destroy your like, destiny? Yeah, no, so, so the point is, many people they will scatter your ball sense and your because destiny. Because he has he has played against many Premier League teams and he has shown himself as superior. Not it, yeah, but, but then in, but even, even in that sense, you would say that you know those occasions are just like one of probably like twice in a season. It's a and then it, you, you cannot oh. really. Uh, compare play, that to you know playing about 38 games play a team with, like norwich uh, yeah, play, play like, norwich where has, there's one, one, has, one boy that all he has in his full life what they have told him to do you are a carpenter son and all you have to do is just break this man's leg and hence here's why i struggle to be honest here's why i struggle now you you're putting norwich above the likes of say Sevilla, above the likes of granada oh, and the truth is we have manchester city in the Premier League, we have Liverpool in the Premier League, and we've seen how good these sides can be. Mm. We've seen how De Bruyne, at least this season, how he has attained some form of level of preeminence in this state. Um, we've seen Aguero even at this season too getting eight goals. So, I, I, I think when it comes to the level of a player like Messi, the truth is, like you said, it's a con that he has not moved out of the um, of the La Liga. But I personally believe that if he does move, or if he did move to the Premier League earlier in, the, in his career. Would have done probably 
much more better numbers. Why? Because there's money to spend. There are a whole lot of things. And you, you, you tend to argue with the fact that, see, even the defensive line of many of these Premier League teams, they're not as good as we, 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 we always then put it out. We like to, to say be. that, but the biggest story for us this season has been the fact that some teams considered six goals. Mm -hmm. It's unusual. It's unprecedented. You don't see that in an EPL, um, in an EPL play. I mean, you'll be like, oh, it happened first time in 25 years, yeah. first time in the history of our mm. club. How many times does Las Palmas chop it? If Sevilla does anyhow, they will collect like they did just yeah. before the international break. They collected, and like it's a regular thing for them. I, I, I so, think. So, I think. We'll, we'll, so the defensive structure. Sorry okay. for cutting in. No problem. The defensive structure when it comes to La Liga. I promise you, every other ball player knows that. Every other ball player that has been a journeyman will tell you. Um, Lukaku will say it. Even Sanchez that has only gone like two and uh, three leagues now. Yeah. yeah, he will tell you. Then. Even Carlos Vera, even in MLS, will tell you. Rooney will tell you. There's a the difference when you play EPL teams, yeah. Bundesliga teams. The only that's why we say that we didn't see Messi flower. I'm happy that we, get, we got to see one person be the chairman of the one club you forever mm -hmm. kind of people that actually did well not like the one that they are trying to force down our mm -hmm. like gerard i'm sorry liverpool fans i'm sorry liverpool, gerard will never be but when it comes to this one we were denied a, a different dimension for messi okay, imagine okay. messi went to even if it's the farmer's league if he mm -hmm. went to psg okay. imagine the kind of player it would have been it would have been more of a trickster because they don't have enough technically savvy guys to come yeah. and collect from even, him. Even in the... If uh, he went league to Bundesliga, so, yeah. if he went to Bundesliga, imagine a Nuggets man playing against a Messi and what Messi would evolve into to counterbalance them because he's... He's an eye robot when it comes to football, but all he got was Maliga and anything that Maliga chopped I think, up. I think just to, just to end the, the conversation about Messi, um, the truth is we'll continually um, argue about the fact that oh, he could have done better, but the truth is it's, it's all hindsight now. He didn't move and we just have yeah. to live with it that and way. It's still but, beautiful. Exactly. But do you think that there, there can be any other player like, like Lionel Messi? Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> this is difficult. I, don't, I actually don't think there can be any other player except you can just think of a player that can be better than Messi oh. and I think that one will be a tall order at this point in time because so almost for, the first, for the first time in the history of football you know you've not seen uh, a player like uh, Messi and then you know talking about Messi at any point in time it will be very difficult not to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo too and then it's a very difficult uh, call to make you know talking about you having a better player like Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo in the future, I think it's very hard. And because, you know, these are rare talents, these are guys that, you know, you just see them, you know, once in a lifetime. And I think Messi is that sort of a player that, you know, you just cherish the moment while he's here and, you know, don't think of getting any player better. Okay, thank you so much for speaking to us, Dennis. Always. Thank you so much, Paul, for coming to us on the show. We're here for this.